Hey guys, this is Crow and welcome back to another episode of Manic Minecraft. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit more on Mythic Mobs. Uh, following the last episode um, where I created a villager and said that I needed to use command blocks so that I could change its traits. Uh, well, thanks to one of the guys at Mythic Mobs, uh, JLaw, I've discovered that I could do that all within Mythic Mobs. I don't need to use command blocks at all. This is all thanks to a command. Um, well, it's a command called command, technically. So uh, it's a skill mechanism called command, uh, which replaces the need for the uh, command block. So as you can see, this apple picker at the moment is just a paper trader with a nice little enchanted book. Uh, and what we're going to do is put the entity data command uh, into a skill so that he will run it when he spawns. So let's uh, have a look to see what we've got. So here on the right we've got the Manic Orchardman or the Apple Picker. Uh, I'm not going to go over these options because I've already done that in the last, last episode but what I am going to do is tell you about these skills. So we've got a skill on this uh, guy um, which calls another skill which is called YT Apple Picker Command or YouTube Apple Picker Command. It runs this command on himself uh, and the trigger is on spawn. So when this mob spawns, it runs that command on himself. As long as his health is greater than zero, he has a 100% chance of running this command. So we look across into the YouTube command skills file. This is in the skills area of Mythic Mobs and this could contain a huge long list of uh, skills, but we're only going to use one. We're going to use this command skill. So the, the command mechanism should tell us what the command is going to be run on himself when his health is greater than zero, and that's on one. I've been advised that it's best to put the target and the health and the chance at the end of this one as well, just in case it misses it on the first one, because uh, it can be a little bit tricky at times. Uh, so, we're going to just add in our entity data command into this space. Here's one I prepared earlier. Um, what we have to do, because we've got these curly brackets and these double quotes uh, in the YML, we need to replace them all out of the standard command. One thing I'm going to point out now is this mob UUID. This is a... Uh, a tag, a label, um, what do they call them? Identify a vari variable. This is a variable that is used within Mythic Mobs and it specifies the unique, identif uh, unique identifier for the mob. So this is only going to run it on itself. No other mob is going to be affected by this. So this replaces the uh, at e command for uh, targeting the entity. Uh, so what we do is run the minecraft entity data command for that mob and we set the rotation, the custom name, uh, the profession, the career level, uh, the career, yeah, so we've got the career 1 and the career level 8, that's basically going to mean that we're not going to get any new trades, we're only going to have these these trades that we enter in this uh, section here. So we've got the offer and recipes, each one of these recipes is a trade. So this is one single trade. We've got the buy section, so it's going to buy 16 apples, which are orchard apples found in the orchard spawner. And in return for that, it's going to give you one popped chorus fruit that is called a manic token that can be used to get special items from the traders in spawn. Okay, so the idea behind this is that I'm going to have a number of these mobs around. You can trade with them, give them what they want, they will give you these tokens. And then you can use these tokens to buy some special gear from around uh, the spawn area. Now, where I was going before, we need to replace all of these left curly brackets with a tag, which is Abysand LC for left curly. So we replace all of those. And the right curly bracket, surprise, surprise, is going to be RC. So we hit that. So that's replaced all those left curly brackets and all the right curly brackets. 
The other thing that can cause us problems is double quotes. So we replace all the double quotes with ampersand DQ for double quotes. So replace all that. So now this should just easily be pasted straight into that command area. You've seen I've got it all uh, indented and things. I just find it much easier to uh, read and understand rather than just having one great big long block of text. So let's paste that in there and hit save. And then we go back on here and reload. Oh, Gene's having fun. He's been shot by a skeleton twice and blown up by a creeper. Right, so I've uh, reloaded that um, that mob. And this time, he shouldn't um, trade paper any longer. He should straight away have the apple trade. So come on, where is he? We're well, waiting for him to spawn. This is the orchard. And these are the apples. So basically, I've got some spawners hidden around here. They spawn in the items. Oh and the occasional apple tree branch as well which uh, in the last episode I did the lumberjack the lumberjack also wants these now I don't remember if I showed that in the last episode so we have 16 orchard apples in return for a manic token that leaves us with 3 just to show you it doesn't work for normal apples only for the ones that have got that name and lore so great, and he should trade up. There we go, look at him. Since he's finished doing his uh, sprinkles, we'll check his trades again, just to make sure they haven't added a new one. And they haven't, it's still just got that one trade. Perfect. Excellent, so basically that is it guys. Um, that is how you run a command, bo command block code on a mythic mob without using a command block. And on that note, I'm going to see you next time. Bye.